Hi guys, this is Shimani from Providence Life Design, and um, we're going to be talking about paint and color, right? Well, today was a good day to talk about paint and color, right? Um, first, I want to start out with the different finishes of paint. Um, so whether it's your hard store, your hardware store variety, or it's a high-end variety, um, I know the UK has one that is commonly used in high-end design here, which is a Faro and Ball, and uh, with this bare paint at the hardware store, and then there's Benjamin Moore, which I think is a fantastic. It's a Brooklyn brand. I love Benjamin Moore. Um, down south, uh, they love Sherwin Williams. Um, I'm not particularly partial to Sherwin Williams paint. Um, the company they make also paint for like, like automobiles and aircrafts, you know. So um, I tend to kind of like not think that. Uh, I don't know. I prefer Benjamin Moore. That's my go-to. I love Benjamin Moore. Um, beer is great because even if a retailer, well, more than likely the same retailer that has the beer is also going to have the Benjamin Moore. Okay. So, you know, paints come in a gloss, high gloss. That is, um, then they have like semi-gloss. Some retailers or some brands, they call it pearl and semi-pearl finish and, you know. So your paint color is gonna go from being super shiny and reflecting a lot of light to becoming super matte and absorbing light. The darker the color and the more matte the color is, the more light it will absorb, okay? So in a lot of like high-end uh, design projects where they're using very dark paint or they're using black paints or they're using like navy blue paints. It's something that is like brought to life with like great jewelry, you know, beautiful gold and uh, chrome hardware, light fixtures, um, plumbing, you know, you're getting the plumbing in like brass and copper and rose gold and gold and um, those really make beautiful, beautiful statement, you know, statement rooms. So, um, so I'm going to show you quickly. Um, this is a Sharon Williams book. <laughs> this is Sharon Williams. I'm just showing you some paint chips. Okay. And what I'm showing you here, the point of showing you the paint chip is, so you can see how the color is super light up here and then it becomes more and more saturated as it goes down on, on the paint chip. Uh, it's the same thing regardless of what hue of color you're talking about. Um, and then they start out super cool and then they get super warm, right? So, um, paint chips, the reason, this is like part of the reason why a lot of designers, we we are we do not forget a color i know my i know me personally i do not ever 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 forget a color i could buy something 10 years before and know i like the color and i'll be able to correlate it with something else that i recently bought and you know some people are color professionals like that i'm definitely a color specialist um when i was in design school a, a, an activity that i thought was really good not everybody excelled at it but it was a great activity is being able to make these kind of charts. You know, we made these charts from scratch in design school. Huge sheets and sheets and binders full. And, um, you know, you learn about color, intensity, chroma, and then what is a hue and all of that. So, you know, I show you all of that to say that even if you choose something as light as this, okay, and you choose to make it a high gloss. Um, what's important is that the shinier the paint is, the, uh, the higher scrubbability it has, okay? You'll be able to clean it. You would want to use, where it's okay to use it in a bathroom. Um, it's okay to use it in a kitchen. You have to do little quick wipe ups if there's any food splatter or anything like that. Ideally, you want to put tile and backsplash where you can put tile and backsplash. Um, but in a space where anything can happen, you know, colored water, 
food, liquids, soups. Once that bounces off of a surface, you want to be able to clean it without a problem. If a, if a paint is matte, if a paint is matte where it's like it has no shine to it, where it's like just chalky and very flat, flat looking, um, the, more than likely if you try to clean that or use any kind of like cleaning solution, it's like you're going to see some of the paint come off on the cloth, okay? So spaces like playrooms, mudrooms, kitchens, bathrooms, you want to make sure that you're using a gloss paint or at least a semi-gloss paint. Children's bedrooms, that's a good, another place. You'd want to use like semi-gloss. All kind of things happen when you have the baby on the changing table or, you know, they're taking their snacks in their play space slash, you know, bedroom. Um, that's important, right? But places like your bedroom, ceilings, okay, your living room, formal living rooms, ideally you would want to use um, a flat paint, okay? Um, in kitchens where you are going the high design route and you're getting state-of-the-art, you know, designer uh, hardware and pulls and it's super modern, then you can totally, totally, totally do like, you know, these like really dark, you know, jewel tone, intense, uh, deep, deep, uh, deep hues of colors. Okay. And these dark colors, they look really, really beautiful with like lighter color woods. Like if you put like, um, matte black or matte navy blue and you paired it with like a light colored wood that'll look super super beautiful super beautiful go on pinterest okay and see how other people are using colors and how they're combining colors and see how it applies to you and see if it's going to work for the project that you're doing okay all right so if you have any questions let me make sure that i covered everything um i mentioned farrah yeah i love farrah on ball beer paint benjamin moore that's my you know brooklyn Brooklyn brand, right? They're not properly represented in the South. Um, but you could still get it. You could still get it. But you may not be able to get, like, um, it may not be in, like, the closest proximity to wherever you are. In the South, Southeast, Sharon Williams has a major presence. Um, so geographically, yeah, the, color, the, paint, the paint brands that you find, um, they're going to be more represented or underrepresented depending on where you are. All right, guys, so the shinier the paint is, the higher scrubbability it has. The um, the more mattified the paint is, you want to make sure you're using it in a low traffic area, okay? This is Shamrani from Providence Life Design. Stay blessed, guys. I hope this video was helpful. Take care.